say they'd ask for their own program and are not satisfied being mixed in with everyone else. Well, they are fuzzy and they're cute. Dick's cat and dog parade coming up. And is it a cross folks in Stowe are willing to bear the story from our Akron Canton newsroom coming up next on Fox 8 News at 6. Fox 8 News is brought to you in part by Levin, located in Bedford, Better, Middleburg Heights, and now in North Homestead. It's the return of Levin Furniture's most popular offer. Buy anything from our showrooms and get 20% free furniture. Spend $100, get $20 free. Spend $1,000, get $200 free. Our classic pine panel bed is just $199. When you buy it, you'll get an extra $40 worth of furniture free. Our classic contemporary sofa from Sealy is just $499. Buy it and get an extra $100 of free furniture. It's the great 20% free furniture sale, and it's this week only at Levin's. Okay, guys, to work on your dunking skills, we brought in the experts. Now, there's a great deal on McDonald's Chicken McNuggets. I want to see some crisp passing. Grab six while they're just 99 cents. And then take it to the hole. Nine are only 159. You call that a dunk? Easy, Grant. Right now, 20 McNuggets are just 299, perfect with America's favorite fries. Watch my slam. Yes! That's a dunk. <laughs> McDonald's Chicken McNuggets, America's favorite way to dunk. Go where you wanna go Find the road you've never taken this is the tire that changed driving forever. The all-season Goodyear AquaTread with the advanced deep groove aqua channel that sweeps water away for serious traction in the wet, especially in braking. Goodyear AquaTread. Serious freedom. Goodyear, Goodyear. I take care of my family. I support higher education every semester. I manage my people. I serve my customers. Work your fingers to the bone, and what do you get? A Lincoln Town Car, for starters. At this low rate, Lincoln Town Car offers the luxury you deserve without taking too many of your hard-earned dollars. They say that hard work is its own reward. Who are they kidding? Lincoln. What a luxury car should be. Our day is just beginning as yours is coming to an end. We're searching for a new answer to that nightly question. Mommy, what's for dinner? A refreshing idea from Gordon's flaky white fillets seasoned with crunchy garlic and herb or zesty lemon pepper. So when you're searching for great dinner ideas, remember, at Gordon's, we go a little further. Trust the Gordon's fisherman. Try rich Parmesan fillets, too, only from Gordon's. Bitterness, anger, and death threats, not words usually associated with issues dealing with religion. But as Fox 8 News Akron Canton Bureau Chief Don Olson reports, in the city of Stowe, separation of church and state has brought out what many are saying is the worst in our society. The winds of change are blowing in the city of Stowe as tonight city council votes on an issue that's created a holy war in the community. Council will decide on whether to repeal the city seal bearing a cross and Bible or begin what probably will be a futile legal battle with the ACLU, which could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to keep the seal intact. This issue has brought out the worst of our society. City Law Director Tom Watkins never imagined the emotion, anger, and divisiveness the seal would create. These are uh probably the, the most vicious hate letters that we've had. Since pointing out that the seal was illegal, Watkins has even received death threats from those he calls religious bigots. When they say don't mix politics and religion, you begin to understand why. When you see an issue of this nature, tear apart neighborhoods, civic groups, uh, political friends uh, are just uh, very alienated from one another because of that. On the other side of the argument is Council President John Parker, who believes the seal-bearing cross would stand up in court. Not everybody in the community is going to be happy with how we vote, but I think that Stowe is bigger than this issue. Stowe residents we talk to seem to have mixed emotions about this community controversy. Many feel that the seal should stay just the way it is, but on the other hand, they don't want city council spending a lot of their money to defend it. It's really sad that, you know, everybody has to be suing each other over every little thing and everybody has to fight over everything. It's not a big deal. I think most people are really perturbed at the fact that they're spending as much money on it as they are. 
You know, I mean, we've got other things in the area that would be more important than the seal. Even more interesting than the vote is seeing how the community deals with the outcome. Don Olson, Fox 8 News, Stowe. Now, if council votes to repeal the seal, it will have two years to phase it out. If the vote is to keep the seal, the ACLU is expected to file suit tomorrow. Well, we have some mighty quiet pets looking for Very, homes tonight. Yeah. On their best behavior, Dick. Mm -hmm. Very well behaved. Uh, and this is Sable, a very handsome guy, this German Shepherd, rescued from a, an unfortunate situation. The people were not uh, treating him as they should. A husky mix, about two years old, has been house trained. He's neutered, good with people and other dogs. The note here is not sure of cats, but I think we're sure based on <laughs> a little barking about half an hour ago. Look at that handsome face. Okay, from Friends of Pets in Akron, and this is Goldie, spade female male, three to five years old, was taken off the streets, has had all shots except rabies, talkative, playful, gets along with other cats and dogs, and uh, Goldie's being held by Judy, otherwise known as Lauren Bacall. I don't know if you can get a shot of these two. And Joe Pesci tonight, uh, played by Tony, who has socks, a neutered male, 10 months old, rescued from an area with new construction and high traffic, again from P Friends of Pets in Akron, cuddly, affectionate, and gets along with cats and dogs. Howard, can you show our two, uh, our Joe Pesci and Lauren Bacall up there or not? That's not possible. But uh, <laughs> from Friends of Pets in Akron, I uh, hope you saw the number, 432-4222. Here's the fast forecast. For tonight, the winds are abating, still rather brisk, though. We won't see 50 anymore, but at times 20, maybe near 30. And uh, two, 29 should be the overnight low, or 29, as some pronounce that. And tomorrow, Friday, quiet day. Winds not all that strong. Sunshine, some clouds later, cooler than today, with a high of about 44 to 45, 39 tomorrow night. And it does appear we could see a near record warmth uh, Saturday in the 60s windy and some rain all right thank you Dick he is You're a national welcome. hero and he is you one do. of Cleveland's own next on Fox 8 News at six some inspirational words from an inspirational man don't go away